LinkedIn destroyed the job market. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. I've been on LinkedIn since 2009 and I've been using it for more than a decade. I've gotten jobs from being visible on LinkedIn and from connecting with people. I've made thousands of connections there, but LinkedIn changed. It used to be great for finding jobs and for professional connections, but now it's just a circus of self-promotion and buzzword bingo. Up until 2015, LinkedIn was great. It was relatively basic in terms of the algorithm and it wasn't this busy. This allowed for people that knew how to optimize their profile to be really visible to companies. I remember that at one point I was actually in the top 1% in my industry. They had a feature that showed how you ranked within your niche. Headhunters would actually screen candidates more thoroughly before passing someone's CV to the hiring team. They had more patience to vet people properly. Up until 2015 or 2016, an interview actually meant something because it meant that you probably were a good fit. So what changed? two things in my opinion. First, the easy apply button was introduced and that was in 2011 so we cannot really blame it for everything that's been going on because up until 2015 or 2016 it was still alright but the second thing that changed is the public perception and behavior around applying for jobs and if we pair these things two together we get a winning combination on how to destroy the job market. With the easy apply button anyone and everyone could actually apply to hundreds of jobs in a single day. The problem is that people also change their behavior as well to actually just pray and pray. The common advice nowadays is to just apply because you never know, okay? Maybe you're gonna get lucky and the advice is that if companies create job descriptions that are simply just wish lists, then you can just apply because you might as well get an interview and then you can just prove yourself in that specific interview. So people that aren't qualified and also people that aren't even in the country or don't even have a work permit, they are applying to those jobs because you never know. It's just a numbers game. And if I just apply to a thousand jobs, then let's say a 3% conversion rate to get interviews is 30 interviews. And if I get a 3% conversion rate on that, then I get one offer. So people believe that all they need to do is to apply and then they can get any job. All it matters is to apply to enough jobs and then get interviews and then learn what interviewers want and just talk your way into it. Look at this one. Buddy of mine completely lied in his job search and he ended up getting tons of interviews and almost tripling his salary, 85K to 230K. He had some experience in a non-tech company. He applied to a few hundred jobs and basically had nothing to show for it then we both thought of a crazy idea. Let's just flat out lie in his CV and let's see what happens. We researched the most popular technology. We also decided to sprinkle in AWS to cover infrastructure and DevOps. We also completely BS'd his responsibilities at work. He spent a week going through crash courses for all the major technologies. He had a CS degree and does understand how things work, so this wasn't too difficult. The results were mind boggling. He suddenly started hearing back from tons of companies within days of applying. Lots of recruiter calls, lots of interviews booked, etc he ended up getting a 25% to 30% callback rate which is insane. He ended up failing tons of interviews at the start but as he learned more and more he was able to speak more intelligently about his resume. It wasn't long until he started getting multiple offers lined up. Overall he ended up negotiating a 230k job. What do you think? Is this real? Is this made up? I'm not sure but the point still stands that this is the way people see applying for jobs because lying on your CV has become the norm. I see this a lot when I interview people. It's almost a mistake to believe people at face value. The lying can be as simple as not saying that they were fired to completely making up job responsibilities. And LinkedIn is making it so easy to apply. I'm not sure whether they spark this type of behavior or if they just simply encouraged it because if you apply to hundreds of jobs, the probability that you're gonna get away with it in some interviews, that probability is high. So why not risk looking stupid to some potential employers? It's just a numbers game. Because of this, companies are actually interviewing a lot more people and filtering out bad candidates is harder than ever. This also influenced the many rounds of interviews you actually need to pass in order to get hired. So LinkedIn's policy to make it as easy as possible to apply for jobs actually sparked changes in the whole process. And I know what you might say because all the big job websites have easy apply, so it's not isolated to LinkedIn. Of course not, but LinkedIn has been the driver of change in this market. In the last few years, it's been slowly becoming more social media than professional networking and it was the leader in this industry and many had to follow or wither away. And the simple fact that it's a social media platform that's centered around the job market, that alone makes it extremely toxic to business networking. Because in theory, okay, on LinkedIn you should actually be as authentic as possible because that's your real profile. On Twitter and Instagram you can fake it a little bit, but on LinkedIn that's your work experience and that's your real self. 
So you should be authentic there. But it's the exact opposite because people lie and they're putting on a performance more than on any other platform celebrating wins, highlighting fake experiences and talking about and bragging about them. And it's easier to fake it with simple text and common post formats that you can just generate nowadays with ChatGPT. You know that it's fake and that obvious fakeness makes it so cringe, but somehow everybody plays this game, a high school popularity contest on the world's largest professional network. And this corporate jargon that you find in any post, you know, this buzzword bingo is all over the platform, making it completely unusable. What I also noticed in some meetings that I had in the past year is that people actually started talking like that all the time and it became so widespread that it's very, very hard nowadays to make sense of what they actually did or what they're actually trying to say. Because if we all talk about synergy and about core values and in about green shoots, okay? You know, by leveraging AI-driven synergies, we can just align our core values with emerging green shoots of innovation, fostering a paradigm shift that empowers scalable sustainability. What does that even mean? LinkedIn influenced a lot of the corporate speak nowadays as it channeled post formats that the algorithm likes into how people actually think and behave. The next reason why LinkedIn ruined the job market is that every feature that it introduced somehow ended up making it even harder for candidates to find jobs. Look at the open to work banner. Although it's a LinkedIn feature, it's not sitting well with companies recruiting. We presented two candidates and the client noticed one had an open to work banner on their profile. Client, it's a red flag that they're openly looking for work. Companies often want candidates they can't easily access. Those already employed, not actively looking and unaware of open roles. This way of thinking actually punishes people that are open about their current situation and are just trying to be fair to potential employers. It encourages people to lie and to twist reality and play hard to get. This shouldn't be Tinder for jobs guys, but somehow it became like this. And what about constantly feeling the need to post about your achievement? This encouraged certification warriors. And here's a comment that I particularly liked. I know someone who works in the cybersecurity sector and they get what they like to call cert warriors, people who basically collect certifications. This is becoming a problem these days because the need to share accomplishments on LinkedIn makes people just want to hunt for quick wins. Getting to post about a certification actually ends up being more important than learning that topic in the first place. Also trying to turn any human interaction or experience into a post where you can just brag about it. Look at all the here's what it taught me about B2B sales posts. Now they realize that LinkedIn lunatics makes fun of them, so they're trying to flip it around. This one didn't even understand the phrase and confuse sales with software as a service, but somehow still managed to add some great wisdom together with a wedding picture. Some people are completely clueless about what they post about, but at least it gets the algorithm going so they can get around to earn some social points. And I could talk about these things for hours, but here's what everybody things when they scroll through the feed. No one cares. Unfortunately, this is going to get worse because actual jobs are abstracted away by LinkedIn. The majority of job ads aren't even from companies but from recruiters. It's so hard to apply directly on the company's website that it's not even worth it and most of the time also the job is only visible if you go through a recruiter. And the number of in-mail messages that I receive has doubled or even tripled in the last years and it's just going up exponentially. Once upon a time LinkedIn was a valuable tool for maintaining my professional network. People I've met through work and generally work with in person. Those days are long gone. On. The LinkedIn pendulum has swung towards endless sales pitches, cold calls from unsolicited emails, has spamming ruined LinkedIn for you too. I think spamming just got worse because of AI generated content. With more AI content, people are finding it harder to get leads because potential clients are really engaging with that, which leads to more AI generated content and emails and then it becomes a vicious cycle. And now they added TikTok style videos, a move that actually takes them even further from their original purpose. I think it does really make sense and it just shows that LinkedIn is becoming less relevant for job seekers. But what do you think about this latest move to add short form videos? Will it help you find a job? Does anything that LinkedIn add as a new feature help you to actually get a job? Or does it just make you a consumer of what they're actually selling, which is job searches, not job finding, but job searches. The combination of social media and professional networking is what actually makes this platform both successful enough for the investors, but it's also awful for its actual users who are just stuck playing high school games and competing for carrots. And in the end, do you really want to compete by just sending out thousands of applications that nobody's going to even see? Or even if they're going to see them, okay? They're going to think that you're desperate and they're just going to lowball you. 
I don't think this is the solution. I think the only way to make it in this market is to position yourself as a real professional, not with thought leadership posts or declaring yourself to be top 30 under 30 or some random software engineering tips and tricks, but with real experience by actively becoming a professional in the field, you know, for example, like cloud engineering. At Get That Badge, we offer practice exams to help you prepare for cloud certification exam. Check it out because this way you can actually support this channel and you can improve your chances to get a cloud engineering job. The LinkedIn game is just a waste of time unless you actually filter out the noise and make yourself visible for the right reasons. Applying for a job nowadays, you know, puts companies off, you know, they want to chase the best talent, right? So get that experience by building your own projects and get better for your own benefit because only then companies are going to start flirting with you. What's your experience with LinkedIn in the last year? Did it actually help you land a job? Let me know down in the comments. And if you like what you heard, please like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.